HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. What's up guys, DJ Maniac Mike here for you from HookahPro.com. I uh, got just a couple more reviews regarding the uh, Sahara Smoke Company products for the Summer 2010 Contest. Um, this one, in the final box, they give you a Vortex Bowl. Um, so I'm just going to do a real quick review of that bowl itself. Show you how I pack it and then uh, come back a little later show you how it smokes. Um, I have been using the Vortex for all the samples that I've done in the contest. Uh, so you pretty much got an idea if you've been following me about how it smokes, but I just wanted to go ahead. They, they was nice enough to send uh, this out to all of our all of the contestants there. Um, so I figure it's only fair to uh, do a review for them. Um, so with that, first off, uh, when you get a Vortex, it should come in a Sahara Smoke Company box. Um, I'm kind of under the impression that it does not come in the Sahara Smoke Company box. Uh, it could be a fake. I do know that other vendors besides Sahara Smoke carry this now, but it is a Sahara Smoke Company product um, to be the true Vortex, which this is. Um, it's basically, this is what it looks like. Forgive me guys if I, I miss a few aspects. I've never actually done a review on a bowl before, so I'm going to try to hit all the points anyway. Um, and I'm pretty sure that y'all are aware of what the Vortex is. But if you're not, basically, what it is, is kind of a uh, funnel bowl, if you're familiar with funnels. It's just got the, uh, the bowl part in it. The difference between this one and the funnel is that the spire, the center spire, is actually closed on the top opposite than a funnel where the funnel is just completely open and with the middle spire there closed it has four holes within that spire lined up around it closer to the top as to allow the airflow so I don't know if you can really see that this bowl has been used it's not exactly the cleanest bowl but definitely smokable um, there's the spire there's the holes uh, basically what you do is you just sprinkle the tobacco in until it gets to the top and then what I like to do is I just push it down there in the center until I'm just seeing those holes in the spire. Um, basically what these are known for is that instead of having the holes in the bottom like your Egyptian bowls or mod bowls uh, these are supposed to preserve the flavor and with that generally what I do is with the wetter tobaccos is when I use the Vortex um, as far as what I usually get into it I would say the capacity is about maybe 20 to 30 grams probably squeeze a little bit more in there but as I pack it I can usually get about you know two bowls out of a 50 gram sample with the Vortex so it's about 25 30 grams um, so with that guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, pack the bowl up, and then kind of show you what it looks like packed. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say to, about it to this point, so I'll be right back guys. Hang on. Alright guys, I am back. I've got the Vortex packed. Um, kind of show you. I know it's not the best uh, lighting I'm outside. Um, using my digital camera so you might not be able to pick all this up so I'm going to kind of lean in a little bit um, but as I, as I mentioned uh, when I pack it you know I just sprinkle it in there and then with the tongs here I just kind of press it down just a little bit until you just about see the top of those holes in the spire that way you get your airflow and then of course I just go around the the outer edge there and just kind of pat it down so it's not to the top where it's going to be touching the foil. Um, 
Again, I, I pretty much use the Vortex with the wetter tobaccos. The idea behind them is so that your uh, juice doesn't go down in your stem of your hookah. Uh, so it is a very nice concept when it comes to that. Um, so finished product, as far as pack goes, that's going to be what it looks like. Nice and sprinkled in there, just about to the edge. Seeing those holes. Um, Alright guys, so again, I'm going to pause the camera, go ahead and foil this up, and show you what it looks like uh, when it's all foiled up and got the holes poked. So, again, be right back. Alright guys, so uh, I'm back with my packed vortex. Just want to show you a little bit of my whole pattern. What I usually try to stick to is I um, kind of just do three rows with a nice little push uh, push pin there. Um, I counted about 35 or so holes. Uh, just evenly spaced. What I like to do when I do it is I kind of like to press it down there around the rim and also on the spire. That way you know where you're at. Of course you want to keep it nice and tight like a drum. Uh, you know everybody's whole pattern is different. Whatever works for you is what works for you. Uh, this is just what works for me. So that's going to be the final product guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean out this rig real quick, rinse it out, come back in a little while, show you how it's smoking. And other than that, I think that's about going to wrap this one up for for the time being anyway guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll be back in just a few. Alright guys, back at you here with the last segment of this Vortex Bowl review. I'm going to have to make this one quick because the uh, counter is ticking down. I don't have a whole lot, a lot of time left on this particular video. So, um, got the Vortex loaded. Usually I go with three Coconaras and a single layer of Heavy Duty Reynolds wraps. Usually what works best for me. Uh, but I guess it kind of just depends on whatever brand of tobacco you're using. Whatever works for you is what works for you. The bowl itself is pretty much foolproof. You can use it for any kind of tobacco you want. It doesn't just have to be your wetter ones. Um, I just use it in particular for the wetter ones so that I don't get that mess down the stem. But you can use whatever you want. You can underpack this bowl, get a good smoke out of it as long as you keep your heat management right. You can overpack it as long as the brand you're using is overpackable. Um, I wouldn't recommend overpacking the Vortex with a Hookah Hookah or Hookah Freak just uh, simply because those are pretty heat sensitive. Um, but for example, maybe a Nakla that you can overpack. Uh, you can overpack it in the Vortex. Again, it is a foolproof bowl. I'll show you a little smoke. Again, the smoke is going to be based on whatever brands you're smoking, how you pack the bowl. Um, it's not going to take away from the clouds. I don't think it's going to give you any extra clouds. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't say it's anything special for that. But as you can tell, I mean, it does give you your standard class for whatever tobacco you're smoking. I happen to be smoking the Ayam Zaman right now, um, which is going to be my next review after this. It's going to be my final sample uh, for the contest. So. Just wanted to give you a little bit of idea about this Vortex Bowl itself. It is my go-to bowl, I will say that. It's the one that I use uh, most of the time. It is pretty much foolproof, and I would highly recommend it. I don't know really anybody off the top of my head that does not like the Vortex, so I would definitely recommend going out and trying it anyway, and um, in, in particular for your wetter tobaccos. Uh, so with that guys, I know the clock is ticking down. I got to get out of here um, Rating I'm going to give it a 10 for 10. It is my go-to bowl and um, It's just a really great bowl guys. I don't know what else to say about it Hopefully I didn't seem like too much of an idiot with this. This is my first bowl review So hopefully I covered all the bases. I want to give a very special thanks to Sahara Smoke Company for sending this bowl the Vortex bowl out to the contestants here not to mention the uh, samples that they sent out and their sponsorship of the contest. Also, thanks to Sambuca and Hookah Pro for putting the contest on. Again, Vortex Bowl, 10 out of 10. Until next time, guys, DJ Maniac Mike signing out. 
smoke on. See ya.